She was a schoolgirl when she ran away to become a so-called jihadi bride. Now she just wants to come home. Because I don't fight anyone what they believe in. This is how Shamima Begum reacted when the Home Secretary first revoked her passport. It's kind of heartbreaking to read. I, I thought it would, my family made it sound like it would be a lot easier for me to come back to the UK when I was speaking to them in Barhals. Today's ruling means Ms Begum remains effectively stateless, a citizen of nowhere trapped in a detention camp. Her lawyers had brought a test case against the UK government's controversial policy of stripping the citizenship of those who went to join ISIS and are now being held without trial. The result of the Supreme Court's unanimous decision is that Ms Begum's appeal against the leave to enter decision is dismissed. In East London, where Ms Begum grew up, a family friend gave us his reaction to the ruling. She was a kid, for God's sake. Really and truly, she should be here and she should be questioned. But she left as a kid, she was 15. So I think they should give her another chance. The Home Secretary welcomed the judgment, saying ministerial authority had been affirmed by the court. But there was criticism from some within the government's own party. Britain needs to take responsibility for its citizens or former citizens who are swilling around in ungoverned space. And as the Americans and many others have said, you know, it's time we took them out of that ungoverned space and brought them back to the country where they lived before. Schoolgirls who went from watching the Kardashians to joining ISIS. This was Ms Begum running away with her two friends in 2015, travelling to Syria via Turkey. Many believe they gave up their right to live here when they joined the murderous group, which plotted terror attacks against Britain and sought to bring down Western democracies. The other girls were subsequently killed in separate bombings. Ms Begum married a Dutch fighter and had three children, all of whom have since died. Although Ms Begum was born and raised in the UK, her British citizenship was removed in 2019 by the then Home Secretary Sajid Javid. When Shamima Begum ran away from home here in Bethnal Green, she was aged just 15. She had arguably been groomed, made to feel that as a young British Muslim, she no longer belonged here. She's now 21 and has been judged as an adult. Her case often provokes a visceral response. She's been labelled a traitor to her country. But wherever your sympathies lie, today's decision means that Britain has effectively washed its hands of responsibility for a problem that was partly created here on our streets. The co-founder of the Institute of Statelessness and Inclusion, Amal de Chikara, believes Ms Begum's case and the case of other British Muslims who have had their passports removed is deeply worrying. If you are born British and have no other nationality, your citizenship is much more secure. There are questions as to whether if Shamima Begum was a white British citizen whose parents were also white British citizens, whether these steps would have been taken. Shamima Begum was briefly filmed this morning, dressed very differently from the images we're used to seeing of her. What next for her and for the 20 or so others from Britain, mainly women and children, also being held here? The Supreme Court said her appeal to return must be paused until she finds some way of taking part in a hearing, something which may prove practically impossible.